Hi folks, welcome back. So the first service that we'll be looking at uh, for o OCI uh, database services is Oracle Base Database Service. So the key here is base, right? So we talk about the base database service. So what it is. So uh, an Oracle Base Database Service, it actually consists of enterprise database service and standard database service, which runs on the VM based systems. So all you are doing is you are actually provisioning a virtual machine. And when you provision a virtual machine, you will see that it comes inbuilt or out of the box that VM will come with the, um, the version of Oracle that you have chosen, right? And uh, normally what you'll see is when you talk about the versions, you could either have standard edition and it is normally standard edition two, we call it and or you can have enterprise edition now in enterprise edition it could be normal enterprise edition just simple enterprise edition it could be enterprise edition um, say high performance right and it could be enterprise edition extreme performance right very important so with extreme performance you could get active data guard you could also get things like oracle rac or even in memory right so um, quite important the supported editions are as I said, Oracle Database Standard Edition, which is SE2, and Enterprise Edition, which could be Enterprise Edition, High Performance, and Extreme Performance. Now, Extreme Performance is the most, um, you can say, costly uh, option, but with that, you get Active Data Guard, you get Rack, uh, you get In-Memory, so, so all those extra cost options uh, that are there from Oracle on top of the Enterprise Edition, you can get with Enterprise Edition Extreme Performance. Uh, now, these base database services are actually um, based on a shape. Now, so what, what exactly is a shape? So shape is nothing but where you are actually specifying your CPUs or OCPU cores, uh, which is directly related to your compute. And also you can say how much storage you are getting, right? So mainly it's it's based on the OCPUs or the compute. So here we have um, given some examples. Now, the, the good thing is that um, there are various um, um, options available for the customer. So you could either go for the Ampere based uh, CPU, you could go with the AMD based CPU, or you could go with a normal Intel based CPU. Now, Ampere based CPUs are actually uh, fairly new in the world of OCI because they are very, very cost effective, very cost effective. It's, it's a new uh, uh, set of CPUs that have come in the market and these are quite cost effective. Now, as I said, shapes, so shapes, um, they determine what kind of compute you are going for. So let's say if I have gone for a standard A1.flex, it clearly says that you are going with the Ampere based uh, OCPU and the minimum is once OCPU goes up to 57 OCPUs. And then it also gives the amount, obviously when you're getting OCPUs, you will be getting some memory as well. So there are, you get 8 GB per one OCPU. So for against one OCPU, you will automatically get eight gig of RAM. So um, and and cost is always or the customer always pays uh, pays based on the OCPUs. If you increase the amount of OCPUs, your memory increases as well. Same way, AMD processors are available. The shape for that is standard E4 dot flex. As the name suggests, flex. You can actually um, shape uh, bring the shape. Uh, say you can increase the number of OCPUs. You can decrease the number of OCPUs. But the minimum is again one OCPU and maximum goes up to 64. And the second one are the Intel based uh, X9 processors. Uh, quite important. Um, so with these base database services, you will see there's a lot of automation. Automation is in terms of the automated backups. So um, if you have created a database um, as, uh, as you provision a new VM cluster, you will see that a database is created and uh, the automatic backups are also created for those. And all these backups are actually taken onto the OCI object storage. We will learn about the object storage in later lessons, but for the moment you can think about is, 
it's it's a storage where you're actually storing your backups and it provides both full and incremental so full backup we do understand that um, uh, every day you are doing a full backup incremental is normally um, as the name suggests that uh, let's say on a weekend you do a full backup or we say level zero backup and on say monday tuesday wednesday thursday all the weekdays you take level one so level one is kind of a changes so all the changed blocks are only taken on the for the level one backup and obviously it would be much faster and it would be much smaller but when you restore you need to apply more number of um, so you always when you are restoring you first apply level zero then you apply all the level ones that uh, have happened and all the archive logs right so this is how it goes um, then yes, as I said, um, Oracle based database services uh, supports the Oracle rack. So rack is normally available as part of the extreme performance. So if you have gone for extreme performance, uh, then you get Oracle rack with it. And it is uh, good for high availability purposes because uh, you would have uh, two compute nodes um, and, uh, and it would go on to each different availability domains which gives failover capabilities across regions and even you can have disaster recovery now disaster recovery is um, uh, possible um, by the concept of standby databases or data guard right so data guard is a concept where you have a primary database and you have a uh, standby database so any changes that are happening on primary are actually sent over to the standby database if something goes wrong on the primary database you can always uh, bring up your standby database and do a failover and the apps can actually connect to that standby database this is called a data guard and it ensures data protection and recovery now uh, very important um, uh, Oracle from the beginning said that any uh, database that you get, uh, you create uh, in OCI, it will always have advanced security options enabled. So uh, previously, like uh, when we used to have Oracle databases on-prem, it, it was up to the customer to enable advanced security. But now in OCI, when a database is created, the data at rest encryption, which we uh, which is TDE, transparent data encryption is enabled by default, which means that uh, all the data which resides on the storage, if somebody uh, takes your storage, uh, they can't access the data because the data at rest is encrypted, right? You need a MEC or an encryption key to actually check the data, right? So it's quite important that uh, your uh, security features are already enabled by default. And uh, as I said, um, there are a lot of options, a lot of shapes like flex shape I talked about, which you can help to scale up and down. So you, you have the ability within base database service to scale your compute. Let's say if your demand is increasing, you can increase the number of OCPUs. Demand reduces, you can bring down the number of OCPUs. And also uh, with storage, you can increase or decrease your storage uh, as, as needed right and quite important oracle is known for its um, licensing so uh, there are two options if you are a new customer you can go with the license included option right and uh, you can see the billing it would be based on ocpus and all if you are an existing customer if you have an ula with oracle then you can go with the bring your own license so with the bring your own license let's say you are a customer who's already have who has procured the on-prem oracle database licenses then you can utilize those licenses within cloud and you'll see that you would be paying much less uh, because uh, the uh, the amount or the cost of a license included option is different from bring your own license option so there are calculators available we will probably have a look as well uh, later on uh, where we will uh, take a look into bring your own license and license included for now you can just understand that base database service allows both the options license included bring your own license so guys it is a vm based database system for giving the enterprise database service thanks for watching